Welcome or welcome back to Starting From Scratch. So my plan today is a little more ambitious. I'm going to try to make spaghetti and meatballs, uh, but I'm gonna use spaghetti squash instead of spaghetti, and I'm going to create my meatballs from scratch. Let's get started. So, spaghetti squash. I've never actually made spaghetti squash. I've never actually prepped spaghetti squash. I've eaten it before. I know I like it. That's about as far as it goes. So I've heard it can be a little bit difficult, and I've also heard it's pretty easy. So we shall see. First things first, I need to uh, preheat the oven. I'm getting really good at that part. Preheat the oven to 400 degrees, which that's already happening. And then the first thing we're gonna do, because that takes the longest, it takes about 40 minutes to cook, is a spaghetti squash. So the recipe I have today makes it sound pretty easy, so I will link the both of the recipes down below in the description. So the first thing we're gonna do is cut these bad boys in half. take our halves and scoop out all the seeds. Okay, we have our innards out. So step two says to cut and brush with oil, add salt and pepper. I'm not sure what exactly that means. One tablespoon of olive oil we're gonna brush onto the spaghetti squash. I, however, do not have a brush, so just rub it in. And we'll do one teaspoon salt and half teaspoon of pepper. I'm just honestly gonna all eyeball that because I have this and it's easy to just put on there. soft and easy to poke with pork. So the recipe I found for this spaghetti squash and meatballs um, says to just get frozen meatballs and put them in there, but I'm like, it's cooking for 40 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to make my own meatballs. And so I found a different recipe for that. Normally I would just do frozen meatballs. Trader Joe's has some amazing ones, but I wanted to try some new stuff. So hopefully that's gonna work. I didn't buy the frozen ones, so if these meatballs don't turn out, well then 
We're just eating spaghetti squash, I guess. Editing Ellie here, I have realized that the whole portion of me making the meatballs has been deleted. I guess I did not have the consent of those balls to be put on camera. So this is actually, I guess, gonna cut to me with the meatballs already in the pan with the sauce, fully cooked. I guess those balls were not ready to be on camera until they were fully functional. I'm already gonna list the link below that I got the recipe from, so uh, you can follow the ingredients there. I apologize, I'm frustrated, I'm annoyed, this is stupid, I hate everything. Uh, enjoy the rest of it, cool, bye. So it sounds like both of our timers just ended at the same time, which is good. Our meatballs are looking good. I switched them to a pan instead of um, a saucepan because they needed more room to breathe. They uh, couldn't function on their own in that little saucepan, so I switched them. And I think that is working out nicely. Let's check our spaghetti squash. Our spaghetti squash is definitely done. It's super soft. Might be overcooked. That's hot. What we're gonna do with the spaghetti squash is shred the inside. We're gonna leave a little bit of um, the innards inside so we can refill it with all of the goodness. The directions say to use tongs to flip these over. They might be overcooked. Um, and then discard the garlic that's inside, which how the hell am I gonna do that? So I'm just kinda gonna go for it and see how easy this shreds. So shredding this was super easy. I thought it would be more difficult than that. We're gonna leave just a little bit of the innards inside so that we can put everything back in and recook it. But we want to get all the spaghetti innards that we're gonna eat into a bowl. So I've scooped my noodles out um, and left some on the inside, just a little bit, so we can put everything back in there. But for our noodles, we're gonna add some stuff to that before we put it back in. So it wants us to add the Parmesan, the marinara, the basil into the noodles, but since my marinara sauce is already with the meatballs, I'm gonna add everything else besides that. So we need fourth cup Parmesan, fourth cup basil, and it just says shredded. So I'm just gonna add, whoops. I'm just gonna do it this way. red pepper flakes, I'm using one fourth teaspoon. So we got our goods back in the spaghetti squash and we'll just add our meatballs. Now when meatballs did 
didn't come out great, but they definitely smell good. There's like um, a meat sauce that I have created in the bottom of this pan, but that's okay. So on top of this, we're gonna add mozzarella cheese, and I'm just gonna sprinkle it on, I'm not gonna measure it out. go back into the oven kind of just to get the cheese melted and everything else kind of combinedly cooked uh, for about 15 minutes and I turn off the oven because I'm so smart so I'm gonna have to wait okay we got our oven back up to speed so let's put these back in we had a girls night on a Friday night got a little out of hand why not red wine I drank it all. We met Chris from NSYNC, which is every little girl's dream. My 13 year old self freaking pissed herself. It was a good time. <sighs> Alcohol was involved. So the last video I filmed, not much has happened between now and then. Not a whole lot of life updates. I did, however, decide I am ready to start dating again. Uh, I'm not getting any younger. So that's great. Um, I have found that most people go on the online dating or dating apps. I love dating like that because you just go and meet new people. I love meeting new people. It's so fun. You get to go new places, try new things, meet new people. People always tell me that's super awkward for them, that they don't like it, especially for girls. But I kind of live my best life when I'm dating like that. Hang out with so many cute boys, eat some really good food at some really cool spots, drink some really good beer at some really cool breweries, have coffee at awesome coffee shops. Like this is Seattle. This is where it's at. So my life is about to get so busy because I'm going to have so many dates all the time. <laughs> That's not what's going to happen. But a girl can dream. I don't know what it is. I just really uh, love dating apps. They're so fun. Our creation smells so good. I am living my best life over here. That's it. Holy, I need some new gloves. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I totally overstuffed the meatballs because I made so many. But I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. This looks so good. Let's plate it up. Look at this guy. Mmm. I'm so excited. Guess if you wanted, you can make like garlic bread or something with this. But I'm just gonna eat this. So let's try it. Oh, these meatballs look so good too. Oh my gosh. Wait. We're supposed to garnish it with more fresh basil. Presentation. Okay. Now look. So beautiful. I just love it. This is steaming. Try this. Oh my god. All of you, come over. We're. Get in on this. Let's have a dinner party. Bring your own spaghetti squash. Let's do this. Holy sh. That's good. That is good. That is so good. Oh my god. The meatballs turned out really good. And like as a whole, like a mixture, combining those two recipes, on point. Seriously, this might be my favorite thing so far. That's good. And that ravioli that we made last week was good. But this is like, with the meat, oh my god, it's so good. All right. 
I need to go enjoy this alone because I'm having a moment here and it's gonna start getting weird. So as always, like, comment, subscribe. Once I hit 100 subscribers, I'll get a personalized URL so it'll be easier to search for my videos. So if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye!